Is the cost of living in Phoenix really cheaper than other cities? If you're thinking about relocating to Phoenix, then keep it locked right here because I'm going to give you the juice on the cost of living in Phoenix. Before we get rolling, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up icon, and share this channel with your family and friends, especially if you or someone you know is considering buying or selling in the Phoenix area. So let's get down to business. Phoenix is known for being less expensive than other major cities. Payscale.com reports that the cost of living in Phoenix is 5% lower than the, than the national average. So is this true? Well, being the analytical person that I am, I did some digging to verify this information because if you're considering moving to Phoenix, then you need to know how this will affect your pocketbooks. Is Phoenix really cheaper, more expensive, or about the same as other cities? So here are the categories that we are going to look at. Rental rates, food items, gas, salary, home prices, and a few other items that you might find useful. And these will be compared to states where people are migrating from, like California, Washington, Texas, and Illinois. Now, I know that Cali has a high cost of living, but there are a lot of people that move from Cali to Arizona, so it's only fair to include it, right? And as a matter of fact, azbigmedia.com reports that Phoenix is the number one destination for people moving from LA. So we are going to compare apples to apples and pull data from a major city in each one of these states. So let's start off by looking at rental rates and home prices. According to Zumper.com, as of February 19, 2022, the average rent for a two bedroom apartment in Phoenix is 1609, in LA is 3000, Seattle is 2642, Dallas 1970, and Chicago 1895. Now keep in mind there are a lot of variables to consider like square footage, neighborhood, and lease terms. So now let's take a look at home prices. According to Realtor.com, as of January 1st of this year, the median sold home price in Phoenix is $423,300, LA is $912,800, Seattle is $720K, Dallas is $443,795, and the median sold home price in Chicago is $350K. Again, this varies on neighborhoods, square footage, and demand. So while we're at it, let's compare property taxes. The average property tax in Phoenix is $678 per 100,000 of home value, which is 0.678%. LA is 0.725%, which is the average. Seattle is 0.93%, Dallas is 1.93%, and Chicago is about 2.10%, one of the highest in the country. Now, here is a comparison chart of items like gas and common fruit products. So let's take a look. Last but not least, let's talk about salary. According to payscale.com, the average salary in Phoenix is $70,000. Some of the most popular jobs in Arizona are engineers, air conditioning techs, which really makes sense due to our desert heat, medical professionals, construction workers, and hospitality workers. The Arizona Office of Economic Opportunity, or the OEO, reported that Arizona's employment is expected to increase 2.2% 2 .2 by 2030, with the largest job gains in the education and health services and professional and business services sector. Now comparing the salary to other cities, the average salary in LA is 79,000, Seattle is 83,000, Dallas is 74,000, and Chicago is 73,000. So is Phoenix really cheaper, more expensive, or about the same as other cities? Now based on my research, it is less expensive in Phoenix. And honestly, I chose only five cities out of the many cities in the US. So I would really have to increase my sample size to get a more accurate measure. But based on what I found and what I've experienced, Phoenix is winning the cost of living battle right now. So here's a quick rundown. Compared to Chicago, the cost of living is about 23% lower in Phoenix. It's 7% lower than Dallas. 36% lower than Seattle, and 34% lower than LA. Now, if you are considering buying, then you need a copy of my book, The Complete Guide to Buying a Home. Please see the link below to get the details. I'm Renee the Realtor, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.